Hi guys, today I want to show you an infinite platform builder. So let's turn it on. Here we have a lot of flying machines that will always transport three cobblestone blocks each to the side here. And then another flying machine at the bottom would grab it up and the whole machine on the left would advance by one block each time. Then the main flying machine flies back, grabs another cobblestone block from this cobblestone generator, flies back to the left and the cobblestone is grabbed by this flying machine at the bottom here. Here's a little time lapse. So over time you will see you get a yeah, solid platform which could be infinitely long in theory. It's a tileable design, so here we have a shorter version, and you can also turn it off at any time. So the next time the flying machine arrives here, it will just stop. Because it's updated uh, by these observer blocks, which detect if a dropper gets powered here, and if the drop is always powered, the observer wouldn't detect any update. And as you can see here, I had to offset the machines, because obviously if we would have a continuous line of slime blocks, then uh, I couldn't push it, because the, uh, the push limit is 12. But overall it makes a continuous platform. After reloading the chunks, the ghost blocks you saw earlier are also gone again. And I'm not sure what would be a good use for this machine in survival. Maybe filling up the void in the end dimension so you can't fall in there anymore. But the advantage of this machine is that the further you go out, the longer it takes to return, so it would get slower over time. But there's nothing we can do really because we only have stationary cobblestone generators. If you would ever get the pushable dispensers that we have in the PE edition, then we could make a machine that wouldn't slow down over time. I've also seen the big machine fail once, and I couldn't explain it why, because it's just cloned over, it's exactly the same in each segment, and also try to experiment with random tick speed, but it also didn't have any effect on it. So maybe flying machines of, with observers aren't 100% reliable. I've never saw a flying machine of redstone blocks fail before, so maybe let me know if you've ever experienced that a flying machine of observers uh, failed for you. So in case you want to build this, here's a short tutorial. So first let's start with the cobblestone generator. Here we just need three observers that point into blocks, then we put pistons on top. And now we build the basin around the lava and water that contains it. So like this. Here we put water and on this side lava. This would make the cobblestone. Then we go up by two blocks. For now let's put in a safety so it won't push out the other flying machine. And then on top we put slime blocks. And we'll add the flying machine. So on the back here down a sticky piston. And here we put a sticky piston as well. Now we add a block here on the top, then we go this direction over here and back down again. Here we have an observer block that faces down. Okay. Here we just put a block. And now let's quickly remove that slime block so this piston doesn't get powered. And we put down another observer block right here. And now we could also hook it up to the cobblestone generator, so this observer here powers this block and it just goes down. So those observers detect this redstone dust. And this observer here would activate the cobblestone generator. Now we also need to add the return mechanism. So here we detect the incoming yeah, block. And this would power this repeater here on, on maximum delay. And then it would just go back down again. And here, let's just quickly block this. Here we put down a dropper. And put some dust on top. So this observer would detect that this block comes in, powers this repeater which powers this dropper and the other observer here detects th that um, the observer, uh, the dropper has been powered and then the flying machine would go back in the other direction. Now let's build the flying machine that would grab the 
cobblestone blocks, so here we just go out by 10 blocks. Then we build two pistons below. The lower one pushes the slime block structure. And here we put down three observers again. And they would power sticky pistons. And now let's add the return mechanism. So here we need another observer, sticky piston, and slime blocks like this. And then we're already done here. Now we need to remove those glass blocks again, just auxiliary. And we also need to add some cobblestone on top, so a 3 by 3 So let's make sure um, that this observer here that faces down activates those pistons and they're getting powered through this cobblestone block here. Now we need to build a mechanism that makes sure that this flying machine returns back to the other side but also advances by a single block. So first of all, we need to complete this flying machine here, it's just an observer that faces down. Then next to it, we need an observer that faces up. And then in direct line of it, um, above those observers, we put down a normal piston that faces in that direction, so we can remove those blocks again. And above it, we have three observers, which detect that this piston activates, and they would activate another piston and it pushes those slime block slime blocks and here we put down another observer a sticky piston and another slime block okay now we're already done uh, we could remove those immovable blocks again and if you want to build another one of those next to each other, then you need to offset it by six blocks. So here between the lava, we have five blocks. And I also changed the design a little bit um, for the return mechanism. Instead of building those towers, there's actually a way to make it simpler, but I couldn't build a simple version um, for each segment because they would yeah, collide with the other flying machine. But you could always build those towers instead, but here's how you build a simpler version. So instead of having this observer facing upwards, make, make him face forwards. And instead of the normal piston here, build a sticky piston, one lower, which would grab this observer here. And this also makes sure that the flying machine returns and advances by one. But you could, if you want to, you can always build the tower instead. Also make sure um, because this flying machine would go beyond those blocks here, uh, so they can't be grabbed. So um, if you offset it, here this block would need to be an obsidian in the back, of course. You could have a normal block, but um, with the other one in the front, you need a obsidian block. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We could also test this out if we made everything correctly. So add a lever. Let's quickly activated okay seems good if you build a really large platform builder with a lot of single units you also need to make sure that all of those flying machines are launched at the same time so you might need an instant repeater in between if this is unclear you can just check the world down on how to wire it up correctly and also, if you just want a single flying machine so for a uh, yeah, three-wide uh, walkway, I'll also build a simpler version, and I'm going to show this in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.